Hi everybody and welcome to the TensorFlow Developer Summit. I'm Lawrence Moroni here in the TensorFlow Cafe and I'm chatting with Clemens Mewalds. And Clemens, you work on TensorFlow Extended or TFX. Yep. Could you tell us all about it? It seems really cool. Yeah, it is. Um, so TFX is um, an end-to-end -end machine learning platform that we built around TensorFlow. Okay. What this really means is that internally at Google, a lot of developers actually want to deploy TensorFlow models in production. Okay. And it's very hard because in addition to the machine learning piece, you need many, many more pieces. Right. And TensorFlow Extended is exactly this end-to-end -end machine learning platform that takes care of all of this. Because like, one of the things in your talk that I really liked at the beginning of the talk was like you have this machine learning little box and you've got all this stuff surrounding it. And that, that kind of really hit home because it makes it real. Yeah. So. so this is actually taken from a paper from one of my colleagues, uh, Dee Scully, and um, a couple of co-authors. And in this paper, he was making this point that machine learning systems are extremely complex systems, that if all of these are the components, and it's extremely hard to integrate all of them right. and make them work well together. And it, there's actually a lot of technical debt that is incurred by gluing things together ad hoc. OK. So what we tried with TFX is actually to provide a solution for this problem, okay. to provide one well-integrated platform that had all of these pieces integrated and that provided an easy way for developers to use all of these pieces end to end and to get started really fast. Wow, so there were a whole bunch of things in the ecosystem, but one of them was like model analysis. And I know you've just published a blog post on that. Could, yeah. you, could you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so model analysis, and we just open sourced this today as TensorFlow Model Analysis, is... TFMA? TFMA. TFMA, Short I love that TMFMA. acronym, it just sounds perfect. Um, so we've used this technology internally for a while now, okay. and we use it for a couple of purposes. One of them really is that once a TensorFlow model is trained, you really want to find out how it performs okay. on your entire data set, okay. on slices of the data set for subgroups of your data. And you really want to drill down into these metrics. Okay. Because in some cases, or in many cases, people only look at an aggregate quality metric. And that may tell you that the model works well on average. Right. But on average, it's not always enough. And there could be some false positives and false negatives hidden, right? Exactly, right. You're doing that. So TensorFlow Model Analysis helps with both computing those metrics over large amounts of data and also for slices of those data. And then we provide some front-end tooling and interactive components to drill down in these metrics okay. and find sub-areas of data where the model may not be performing well or to find error um, cases or cases where the model is actually not performing as expected. Okay. And then developers can use this information to either improve their model or go fix their data if there's a mistake in the data. Okay, sounds good. So I'm sure a lot of the time it is a, it's a case of refactoring your data to make it as efficient as possible, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. So, but this will help you find that because otherwise there's a lot of trial and error. Exactly. Okay, so cool. And uh, there's one of the other things that I've seen in it is a TF serving, mm -hmm. right? And it's like, I get a lot of questions from people like, you know, how do I expose my model to the world? You know, yeah. that kind of thing. It's like, it's all very well if I have it on my own machine and I can call it. So how, do, how does TF serving actually work? Um, so TF serving, uh, it's very interesting. The code base that we're actually open sourcing is exactly the code base that we use internally to serve our machine learning models. Okay. And the basic concept behind it is that you don't want to hard code your machine learning model into an application. Okay. You would rather have a server that loads a model and then you can make requests to that server. I see. Which has a lot of benefits. And TensorFlow Serving is exactly the solution that, um, that provides the community with this technology. And we just announced today that we're working on a REST API okay. for that server because this is the number one feature request from the community. Yeah. And we've heard the community. And we're working very hard on releasing this soon. You read my mind because that's exactly what I was going to ask. Like, what is the interface? Is it a REST API? Like, so, you know, what is the interface today? Well, Currently, it's, a, it's gRPC, okay. uh, which works really well. This is what we use internally. Okay. But obviously, like externally, the standard in the community and, and things that a lot of developers asked us is for a REST API. OK, cool. Yeah, I would love to see a REST API around this myself. So I'll, I'll, I'll plus one that vote. <laughs> Perfect. So now if I want to get started with any of this stuff, I'm a developer and I really want to get into TFX and see what it gives me, maybe model analysis or serving or any of the other tools, um, where should I go to get started? Great question. So there's a, there's a couple of components that we've already released, okay. namely transform model analysis and serving. Okay. All of these are under the TensorFlow repo on GitHub. Okay. But most importantly, when we released model analysis today, the example that we released with model analysis shows all of these and how they're used together. Nice. And that's in your, covered in your blog post? Yes. Okay. That's being discussed in a blog post. And there's also a link 
where people can actually go and follow that example okay. to see how to use all of these components together. Oh, cool. Nice. And then there's more, more components on the way. Exactly. Um, as I pointed out in, in, in the Dev Summit talk, uh, this is only a very small part of TFX. And we're working very hard to release more to give this benefit to the community and see what the community can do with it. OK, well, sounds good. I have to check it out. Where can I learn about this again? Um, right now, the best place is really to start with that blog post on TensorFlow Model Analysis. Okay. And we are actually working on a blog post specifically for TFX and the Prada project. Sounds good. And I, I believe I'm working on that with you. Perfect. <laughs> so, and so we'll put links to all of these in the description below So you know, for people watching. So thank you so much, Clemens. I've learned so much about TFX. And I hope that you have too. It's been a real pleasure having you on the show. Thanks for having me. So thanks, everybody, for watching this episode. If you've got any questions for me or if you have any questions for Clemens, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.